Hey, today we're going to demo how to uh, fillet a flatfish, a beautiful um, flounder from the North Carolina coast. Fish is fresh. When you smell it, it has to smell like the ocean, not like the fish. If it smells like fish, send it back. First of all, we're going to remove the head. We do a V-cut right on top of the uh, bone from the head. And this way, we're going to be able to remove the head and the guts at the same time. Cut down. Give it a twist. And now pull. And all the guts are going to come out, as you can see. Some chefs are using the liver nowadays. We're going to be fine. We're just going to use the fish. Most fish, most of uh, uh, flat fish will have this natural line, line down the spine right here. Just follow with your knife. And between cuts, I just like to keep my board as clean as I can. Cut down the spine. Not a lot of pressure. And this is how you're going to work my knife. I'm going to work the tip of the boning knife. And I'm going to scoop against the bones. We want to get all that meat out and that filet out. I'm going to get four filets out of these flounders. You can also start over here on this side, jump over the bone, you get a whole side of the fish. But this is the easiest way that we start here at school to teach them how to do flatfish. I'm going to try to do it with the camera. And this is the basic movement that I'm doing down there. I'm going to follow the knife, the bones with the knife. Go to the center, right underneath. looks a little awkward, but this is a really weird position to be doing this. I'm just doing it this way to show you how do we get down those bones. This is not the finished filet, I'll show you how to finish it in a moment. Okay, so we start on this side of the fish. And I'm doing it towards the camera so you guys can see how it's done, but most likely I will be holding the fish towards me and working the knife this way. We flip the fish and we follow that line. And I'm holding my knife almost parallel to the fish bones. I'm trying not to take any fish with me any uh, fish bones. And uh, it's just about pressure, not too strong of a pressure. If you press too hard, you will go through the bones into the other side. We're just trying to separate the flesh from the bones. And once you learn how to do a flat fish, you can 
fillet any kind of flat fish, being a turbo, a, um, a big, a big flounder from up north, Dover sole, any kind of flat fish, you'll be able to process it. It goes a little faster this way. We are going to keep the bones to make fish stock. Flounder yields an excellent fish stock. One of my favorite fish to use for fish stock. We're gonna save the whole body and just a little crack there, make it easy to put in the stock pot. If you were to use the head of the flounder to do stock, it's really nice because it has a lot of cartilage. One thing you should do is you need to remove the gills. If you don't remove the gills, your stock will turn out super bitter. One easy way to remove the gills is open the bottom of the fish, cut one side of the jaw, cut the other side of the jaw. Let's see if you guys can see it. And this will release the gills from the mouth Final cut in the base of the head, and that removes the gills from the head, and at this point, the head can be used to make stock. Alrighty, we're gonna finish our flatfish filet. I don't like to leave them like that, they don't look sexy, they don't look good. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna skim, we're gonna cut this one right here. This is great for fish stock. Fish dog and fish tacos too. Some chefs like to leave the skin. I like the skin on, but we need to teach our students how to remove the skin. There's a lot of flavor in the skin, and when you saute the fish skin side down, and then you flip it up, the skin becomes really crispy and even helps to hold the shape of the fish. How to remove the skin? You can either use your chef knife or you can use your boning knife. Trick is bring the board towards the edge. You wanna have your knuckles floating here in the air. If you use your knuckles on the board, if you keep the knife like this, whatever you're doing, there's always gonna be this 20 degree angle right underneath the knife. So what we're trying to do here, trying to cut like this, knuckles are in there, that's gonna be the awkward uh, angle down there. So I bring it to the edge. Start right over here. Keep your knife flat to the surface, grab the skin from the back, pull, little tug, run your knife. Your knife has to be sharp. If it is not sharp, it will turn into ground fish. First filet, skin, good for stock. Second filet, get right underneath there with the skin where the skin is. Run your knife, grab your skin pull second filet skin for stock let me show you it, the same result with a chef knife or a utility knife skin is right here get right underneath pull the skin towards you at the same time push your knife forward If you happen to mess up the skin right there, no problem, cut a little bit and get right back in there. But my favorite knife to do this is the boning knife. I just want to show you that it can be done with almost any knife. Not with the paring knife. I can see already some of my students thinking, what about the paring knife? 
if need to be. Okay, this is your fillets that has been skinned. All the skin can be used for stock. Now, they still look a little rough, so we're going gonna, we're gonna to give them a little bit of beautification. We're going to remove this skirt on the side. Now, all of this, I can still use it for stock. That's your first nice finish fillet. I'm going to show them all to you in a moment. Remove the blot line from the top. Customers don't like to see that. Bottom skirt, another fillet ready to go. In this case, we still have a little bit of the muscles from the stomach attached to it. And you can see here the blot line. Just remove that. Remove the part that attaches to the belly. Good for stock. Last piece of flounder. Remove the side. Keep it nice and cold, and these are your flounder fillet, four fillets per fish is what you can get, all finished and ready to go. That's how to fillet, fillet and skin flatfish, in this case, flounder.